I don't know why, tennis is always a tricky one in this, in this country. <laughs> I wish you can get to a, a situation where the 10 can, can settle and play. But uh, it, is a, it is a tricky one. Um, you, know, always, you know what, you've you got them all right. doesn't matter if he doesn't play there, I know he'll be good. Chris has always been a great player and hopefully now he can, you know, he's injury free because you need a good run. Because every time he gets, a, just when he's, I feel he's almost there, he's got an injury. So hopefully he'll have a good run. He's definitely the guy I look at. And, and Bossi is also a, a player I've coached for quite some time. He's, he's really matured. And uh, Andre Pollard have always rated, um, which has felt it's better for him to play there at the, at the Junior World Cup. But he's also a guy in standby and he's, you know, he can easily start as well. So I've always played a young team, which I can groom and, and, and help. So he's also a guy I highly rate. So although there's not one guy that you can for sure to say that's going to be the starting team, uh, there's just a lot of options there. But again, I keep on saying this, there's not a lot of time to, you know, to bleed guys in, it's, you know, it's 18 weeks. I tell you what, I just take it game by game. Uh, the one thing I've seen in my life is that you, uh, as a coach, you just uh, focus on the, on the first game. If you get the basics right there and, and get going, then all the other games will take care of themselves. So I never look past the first game. There's a lot of work to be done before that first game, and although it's probably a friendly, uh, it's still important for us to do well and get things going as soon as possible because it's going to be a tough season. So, uh, you know, you only look at the first game. In the back of your mind, you always, I always look at long term as well. That's why I jogged up to see Lurek de Jager, and I can mention a few other youngsters as well that I've brought in because I believe they can be going forward. We can have an awesome team. Um, uh, one guy I'm really sad that he's not here is Peter Stepped it away. He's been out now for two years. So uh, I truly believe he can be a world great. And, even, even together now, if you've been injured, suddenly you're back to square one. And uh, if somebody said to me, I wanted to say this in the first press conference, but I'll say it now, is uh, if somebody said to me, you can coach probably Victor and Bakis together in your life again, I would say they're crazy when I took over the job. And now suddenly there's not a lot of locks around. So, uh, <laughs> But it's a pity he's injured because I believe that with Eben, he can, he can really be a great. And he also gives an option to seven. But uh, you only take it game by game at this stage. I'm not too worried about four because um, yeah, yeah. there's a lot of guys that are, that are really worried is, is five lock. Mm -hmm. And I know there was criticism when I spoke to Victor to come back and he wasn't sure, but now suddenly it's a huge blessing because we're really thin on, on, on five jumpers. Uh, Flip can, um, but you know, Flip is also actually at the end, he's a four jumper. So we're really under pressure. That's why I said Peter Steff, I truly believe can, playing wise, he's brilliant, but he has to learn. He can learn from a guy like Victor. So uh, I could just see Victor's influence with the lineouts. It's, it's been amazing and it's. You know, just that guy's world class in lineups. It just looks like he's his emotion, and you can see how the other guys just up their standards. So he will. I'm really, really uh, excited to see how we're going to go in the lineups. Our lineups has been awesome. The one thing I wasn't happy with the amount of ball we take, you know, from opposition. And yeah. I've said this to Victor as well. Since he's played, lineup world wise has really improved. So it's not that easy just to. Uh, to take lineouts, but I think what I've seen in Super Rugby, although Victor doesn't take a lot, they're so scared of him, they throw in other places where they don't get good ball, mostly in front. But he's been awesome, I must say. And it's great to have a guy like Stalk back. Um, one thing that stands out for me with this job, you know, it's almost like it's always like a humbling experience. Is our experienced guys comes back and they're like little kids just being in an environment. For me, that is uh, that's the one thing that the Springboks. It's always special for me. It's like it's bigger than any of us. And to see Skulk and, and even a guy like Arif Prasad just to be back, you know, and Bakis last year was amazing. And that just reminds you how special the box is, and especially for this country as well. So you don't take it for granted. And uh, you know, one guy is passionate to play for the country, even if they play down at test matches, and that you can see of these guys coming back as well. Yeah, there won't be too many changes. Uh, obviously, you want to go with your guys in South Africa first, but uh, you could just see in the final again of the Heineken Cup, uh, world world class players. Uh, they're always world class. And the thing about those players is, you know, you can't expect them to play 40 brilliant games a year. But you know, when they need to, to make a step up, especially if they play for the box or in finals, that I think they were awesome. So uh, won't probably be there won't be probably any new um, overseas based players, and you want to cut back on the amount. But it's a uh, it's great to have those players around and. Uh, you know, they're very experienced and, you know, they, we need those players as well. We want to pick the best team in the world and always want to be the best team this year in the world.